capitalised in the opening event. All in. The starters on the ladder. The three-year-olds are set. First of the day, no sign of the light, though. Straight back to last, Palacino. Fire and Rain was the first to go. Jumping away very quickly is Pablo's poem, and also rushing up here is Flirtini soon after the start. They settle down a length and a half in front from Classic Pro and also Cockney Crew. Perceived second last as they'd left the back. And over on the inside is Palacino. 800 left to travel. And now crossing them here, Flirtini's gone to the top. Three quarters on Pablo's poem. And so Staples elected to take a drop there and trail with Fire and Rain third. Three quarters of a length away then to Cockney Crew. Back near the inside to Classic Pro from Perceive. And still last of all is Palacino, about five from the leader. It's the favourite, Flirtini. The Artie Schiller three-year-old comes around the corner. 400 left to go. Straightened up Flirtini, about three quarters. Now only a half on the big grey Pablo's poem, who wanted to lay in. They brush for half a stride, a length and a half. Fire and Rain at the 200. Flirtini, he has to go to work from Pablo's Palm and Fire and Rain is starting to run on it. Pablo's Palm, Flirtini at the 100, Fire and Rain joins them. Fire and Rain, Pablo's Palm, Fire and Rain. Fire and Rain in the National Jockey Trust Colours wins the first of the day from Flirtini or Pablo's Palm. Classic Pro fourth in, followed further back by Cockney Crew, Perceive and Palacino. One's the winner. Sevens into 440, back to 480, and then into 460. Punters getting it right, didn't have to lead to win. Staples elected to sit on Flirtini and has got the last drive at them. It and Pablo's poem. They were engaged in a good battle, but the horse with the drop and the run at them late, fire and rain, in the National Jockey Trust Colours salutes on NJT Day. For Paul Jordan, my oratorio from Girl in a Storm, Craig Staples. Fire and Rain has won from Pablo's poem, Pat Carberry or Flirtini, written by William Pike. She took up the role of pacemaker and has been exposed late. Pablo's poem would not go away. The big grey had pressure on Flirtini. She just felt the squeeze at the end of the 1200 and fire and rain at his first test over the journey has been able to zap them in the last little bit let's um, take you out now to Britt taylor she's with bullet staples thereafter fire and rain's victory and a good result for the astute players who took the seven dollars Britt, good afternoon thanks darren good afternoon to you and good afternoon and congratulations to you craig staples and were you expecting today that you would have to hand up to a flirtini? Um, yeah, actually it was in my back of my mind because I know Simon's horses do like to uh, run along a bit and I was a little bit worried about the 1200 so uh, he jumped really well but when I seen uh, Pike get a little bit of work it worked out really well for me. Under the 59 and a half, are you really proud of what this horse has been able to do today? I'm super proud. He's come off obviously a major injury early and then this time in and he's got uh, wide barriers, wide barriers and uh, today, nice heat, good barrier, and uh, pulled in claim off him. So um, I'm just really, really happy. And what an appropriate result. Wearing the National Jockey Trust colours, you are the jockey's president. What does this day mean to you all? Uh, it really does. It, it really strikes a, a chord in a lot of jockeys' hearts. They know a lot of their members, a lot of their friends and family have been injured and suffered through uh, you know, race falls and other accidents, and the trust does so much for them. So to win with these colours on, it really means a lot to me. Well, uh, hopefully we're seeing a lot more of these orange and white get up today. Congratulations, Craig. Thanks a lot, Brittany. Paul Jordan joins us here, and he trains fire and rain. This is her first go, um, or his first go out of the 1,200 metres, mate, but he's been impressive basically since the start of his racing career, and that was a nice victory off the pace today. No, it's beautiful. Oh, I see that... Uh uh, no one liked him, and uh, they, well, they did he was... late. He was seven into three sixty. Oh, I, I'm sure they did, but the, the pundits didn't think so. The punters did, but the pundits didn't. They thought that he was uh, he couldn't win. But uh, if you anyone had looked at the times that they ran last, the other day, him and uh, Pierce's horse the other day, they they ran unbelievable time early. I guess everyone was probably expecting Staples to lead nearly all of the way here today, but he decided to take the sit. Was that the plan going in? Should have could have run asked. Yes, we should have. <laughs> was that the plan? Well, I knew that I was under the impression that Willie wanted to lead the other day and he couldn't. And uh, and because he'd drawn wide today and we drew a barrier, I thought all I had to do is kick out, hold a position, and, and the grey horse made him go forward even more. So 
It's fine. He's been a pretty good horse. How far can he go this preparation? Just keep on trucking with him now as he gets to the 1,200 metres today and he smashed that line. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll just take him as they come, you know, see how he pulls up. He's been in work a while. Uh, he had that sort of bleep in February when he had a knee up. Uh, but, so I, I'm just taking one at a time, you know. They're worth 84 grand to win. Some happy owners then and as they lead your horse in. Congratulations, right. Shorty. Yeah, he only cost a tenth assignment, so. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you might have to shout everyone now then. Good luck. Well, anyone who wants a drink, come and see me. <laughs> there we go. Paul Jordan getting the job done there with fire and rain after race number one over the 1,200 metres. That wraps up the first. We'll be back before the second in just a moment. Yeah.